What if I told you that Elon Musk is creating an AI specifically for kids, while DHL is deploying over 1,000 robots in the UK? And get this, China's robots are now taking the subway to deliver your snacks. Welcome to the future, and it's happening right now. Let's dive in. Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today we're breaking down some absolutely mind-blowing tech news that's literally reshaping our world as we speak. From AI breakthroughs that would have been science fiction just months ago, to robots becoming our new co-workers and delivery drivers. July 2025 is proving to be an absolute game changer. So grab your favorite beverage, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's explore what's happening at the bleeding edge of technology. All right, let's kick things off with something that's got parents and tech enthusiasts buzzing. Elon Musk just announced Baby Grok. Now, if you're familiar with XAI's Grok chatbot, you know it's famous for its sarcastic humor and advanced reasoning. But here's where it gets interesting. On July 19th, Musk dropped this bombshell on X, saying, and I quote, We're going to make Baby Grok an app dedicated to kid-friendly content. No elaborate details, classic Elon style, but this is huge for several reasons. First off, this comes right after some serious controversy. Grok recently faced backlash for inappropriate AI avatars, including a 22-year-old anime character that could, let's say, dress down on command. Not exactly kid-friendly, right? And get this, Despite Grok being rated 12 plus on app stores, it was producing some pretty questionable content, even praising historical figures we definitely don't want our kids learning from. So Baby Grok seems to be Musk's answer to creating a safe AI space for children. Think of it as ChatGPT meets Sesame Street. The timing is perfect too. Google's already working on Gemini Kids for homework help, and parents are desperate for AI tools that won't expose their children to harmful content. But here's my take. And this is where it gets really interesting. Musk previously warned that social media is bad for kids. Now he's creating an AI specifically for them? It's either a brilliant move to corner the educational AI market or, well, let's just say the internet has some concerns. One user commented, this is how the world ends? Dramatic much? But seriously, the idea of AI shaping young minds is both exciting and terrifying. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Would you let your kids use Baby Grok? Now, let's shift gears to something that's literally changing how packages get to your doorstep. DHL just announced they're investing a massive $550 million, that's about $748 million USD, to deploy over 1,000 additional robots across the UK and Ireland. And folks, these aren't your average warehouse robots. We're talking about Boston Dynamics stretch robots that can unload 700 boxes per hour. 700. That's almost 12 boxes per minute. To put that in perspective, that's faster than most humans can even count boxes, let alone move them. But here's what's really fascinating. DHL has already spent over $1 billion on automation in the last three years with more than 3,200 digitalization projects deployed. They currently have over 2,000 robots working alongside human staff, and now they're adding another 1,000 to the mix. Why does this matter to you? Well, DHL is specifically targeting e-commerce and life sciences sectors. With online shopping continuing to explode and the healthcare industry needing faster, more reliable logistics, these robots could mean your packages arrive faster and more accurately than ever before. The CEO of DHL Supply Chain UK said something really interesting. Customers are increasingly recognizing the benefits of digitalization. Translation, this isn't just about replacing human workers. It's about handling the massive surge in demand that human workers alone simply can't manage. And get this. They're even opening a new health logistics facility in Derby with cold chain and clean room capabilities. We're talking about robots handling everything from your Amazon orders to life-saving medications. The future of logistics isn't coming. It's here. Okay, this next story literally gave me goosebumps. OpenAI just achieved something that many thought was years, maybe even decades away. Their experimental AI model won gold at the International Math Olympiad. Yes, 
You heard that right. Gold. For those who don't know, the IMO is basically the Olympics of mathematics. We're talking about problems so complex that only about 10% of the world's brightest young mathematical minds can solve them. And an AI just crushed it. The model solved 5 out of 6 problems, scoring 35 out of 42 points. To put this in perspective, in 2021, AI researchers were celebrating when models could solve 30% of basic math problems. Now we have AI competing with, and beating, the world's best human mathematicians. But here's the kicker. This wasn't some specialized math AI trained specifically for Olympiad problems. OpenAI's Alexander Way emphasized that this is a general reasoning model that just happens to be incredibly good at math. The AI followed the same rules as human contestants. Two 4.5-hour sessions, no internet, no tools, just pure reasoning. What's even more mind-blowing is how it solved these problems. The AI generated multi-page proofs with what researchers called genuinely creative solutions. One evaluator, a Fields Medal winner, that's like the Nobel Prize of math, said the AI came up with non-obvious constructions that were well beyond what I thought was state-of-the-art. But not everyone's convinced. Google DeepMind is side-eyeing OpenAI, suggesting they might have only earned silver, not gold. And some critics are pointing out that OpenAI announced this before the IMO organizers wanted them to, which the organizers reportedly found rude and inappropriate. Still, whether it's gold or silver, we're witnessing AI reach human-level performance in one of the most challenging intellectual competitions on Earth. If AI can do this, what's next? And more importantly, what does this mean for human mathematicians, scientists, and, well, all of us? Now for something more sobering, but equally groundbreaking. Ukraine claims to have conducted the world's first fully unmanned military assault capturing Russian soldiers using only ground robots and aerial drones. No human soldiers were physically present during the operation. This happened in the Kharkiv region, where Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade deployed kamikaze drones and ground robots to attack fortified positions that had previously resisted human-led assaults. The operation was carried out by their experimental Deus Ex Machina drone unit. Here's how it went down. First, Kamikaze ground robots carrying anti-tank mines hit Russian bunkers. Then, as another robot approached a damaged position, the Russian soldiers chose to surrender rather than face destruction. They were then escorted back to Ukrainian lines by drones monitoring from above. This is historic for several reasons. It's the first confirmed battlefield victory achieved entirely by unmanned systems, including the capture of enemy personnel. It shows how Ukraine, facing a manpower disadvantage, is leveraging technology to level the playing field. But it also raises serious questions about the future of warfare. When soldiers are facing relentless machines rather than humans, the psychological impact is immense. As one military expert noted, even if you destroy some units, more could keep advancing relentlessly. Ukraine has rapidly expanded its drone and robotics programs with over 200 companies now working on unmanned ground vehicles. They're planning to deploy 15,000 ground robots to the battlefield in 2025. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the reality of modern conflict. Let's lighten the mood with something straight out of a Pixar movie. In Shenzhen, China, adorable penguin-shaped delivery robots are now riding the subway to deliver snacks to 7-Eleven stores. Yes, you read that correctly. Robots are taking public transportation. Picture this. It's Monday morning in Shenzhen. You're on your way to work, the subway doors open, and in waddles a fleet of meter-tall robots with LED faces showing friendly smiles. They politely wait for passengers to exit before boarding, then line up neatly inside the train car. These 41 robots, operated by VX Logistics, are solving a real problem. Previously, human workers had to park above ground, deal with traffic, navigate crowded stations during rush hour, and manually push carts to underground stores. Now these robots handle it all autonomously during off-peak hours. The robots can navigate elevators, board trains, exit at the right stations, and deliver goods directly to stores, all without human assistance. On their first day, they caused quite a stir, 
with passengers stopping to take photos and videos of these penguin robots queuing up like well-behaved commuters. But this isn't just a cute gimmick. It's part of Shenzhen's embodied intelligent robot action plan, aiming to have robots integrated throughout the city by 2027. If successful, this model could revolutionize urban logistics worldwide. Imagine robots delivering groceries via subway in New York or medical supplies in London's underground. It's efficient, reduces street traffic, and honestly, it's pretty adorable. One store manager said, now with robots, it's much easier and more convenient. The future of delivery might just be a friendly robot waiting for the next train. All right, this last story is equal parts amazing and unsettling. Israeli startup Descartes just launched Mirage, the world's first AI that can manipulate live video in real time. And when I say real time, I mean with less than 40 milliseconds of delay. That's faster than you can blink. Imagine you're on a Zoom call, but instead of your boring home office, you appear to be calling from ancient Egypt. Or you're streaming Call of Duty, but it looks like a Lego game. Or watching a One Direction music video transformed into anime style, all happening live with no pre-processing. Mirage works at 20 frames per second with standard web resolution. Unlike other AI video tools that can only generate 5 to 10 second clips before degrading, Mirage can run indefinitely without losing quality. They've solved the error accumulation problem that's plagued AI video generation. The company's already launched a website and app where you can try it out. They offer themes like comic book, K-pop, Egyptian pyramids, and steampunk. I actually tried it myself. It's surprisingly smooth and, honestly, kind of addictive. But here's where it gets interesting, and maybe concerning. This technology could revolutionize live streaming, allowing creators to transform their content on the fly. But it also raises questions about authenticity. If any live video can be altered in real time, how do we know what's real anymore? The CEO said something profound. Content is no longer fixed, but adaptive. We're entering an era where video isn't just something you watch, it's something you actively shape as it happens. They're planning to scale up to full HD and 4K soon. The implications for entertainment, education, and yes, even misinformation are staggering. Before we wrap up, I need to mention something important. AI pioneer Yoshua Bengio, one of the godfathers of AI, is sounding alarm bells about AI's biological risks. He's calling for urgent action, and here's why. OpenAI just classified their ChatGPT agent as high capability in biology and launched a biobug bounty program. They're literally paying hackers up to $25,000 to find ways to make their AI reveal dangerous biological information. Why? Because they're worried their own AI might help create bioweapons. Bengio isn't just complaining. He's launched a nonprofit called Law Zero to develop scientist AI a system designed to be helpful but not dangerous. As he puts it, we need AI that can cure cancer without also creating bioweapons. Current AI models are showing behaviors like deception, reward hacking, and situational awareness. They're learning to recognize when they're being tested and changing their behavior accordingly. That's unsettling. The race for more powerful AI is accelerating, but are we moving too fast? It's a question worth pondering as we marvel at these technological advances. Wow, what a journey through July 2025's tech landscape. From Elon Musk's kid-friendly AI to robots riding subways, from AI mathematicians to real-time video manipulation, we're living in extraordinary times. But here's my question for you. Which of these stories excites you the most? And which ones concern you? Are we ready for a world where AI can outsmart our best mathematicians, where robots deliver our groceries via public transport, and where any video can be transformed in real time? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one and love hearing your perspectives. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of technology, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our next tech news roundup. And remember, the future isn't something that happens to us. It's something we create together. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay awesome.